All right, so after about three months of planning, researching, building, shopping, and all sorts of hard work, um, I finally finished my aquaponics uh, system. Okay. Now it's time to introduce the living elements into the system. Okay. So what I'm going to do today, or the next step basically, is what we call cycling, system cycling. If you're familiar with um, fish keeping, um, home aquariums, it's the same process. Okay? Basically, cycling the system means uh, making it conducive to growing two different kinds of bacteria. Okay? Now, these two different kinds of bacteria are part of what's called the nitrogen cycle. Okay? So once you get fish in your fish tank, the fish are going to poop and breathe and do their thing. And that's going to create ammonia. Ammonia. If you do nothing with that ammonia, eventually it'll poison the fish and they will die. So um, there's one kind of a bacteria that likes to eat ammonia. Okay. <clears throat> the byproduct of this bacteria is nitrite. Okay. So, if you have lots of ammonia in your system, you will attract a bacteria that will live inside your system that will eat the ammonia and produce nitrite. Okay. Then, after a while of having raised nitrite levels, a second kind of bacteria will come to eat the nitrites and it will uh, produce, as a waste, nitrate. Now, nitrate is what your plants like to eat. Okay. Then your plants eat up the nitrates, you send the water back down into the fish tank, and it's nice and clean for your fish to live. That's called system cycling, or um, getting all those bacteria in establishing a nice little ecosystem is called cycling. Okay. So it's tricky to go from your construction to your fully cycled system. Okay? So what we need to do, the first step in system cycling is we need to make the environment in our system conducive uh, to culturing those two kinds of bacteria. So step one is it's too cold. The water temperature is a little bit too cold in my system. I just put a thermometer in there about a half hour ago and uh, my water temperature is 13 degrees Celsius. Um, that's not very good for culturing the bacteria. Um, so I've installed an aquarium heater on a thermostat. Cost about $30 at the aquarium shop. And um, basically I'm going to increase the water temperature um, to the high 20s. Maybe about 27 degrees Celsius which is probably somewhere around 80 degrees, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. Um, that's a good temperature range. Okay. Next, I need to introduce some ammonia to the system. So I've got this product here that kills two birds with one stone. Uh, this product, product contains urea, which is a kind of ammonia. So that will provide a food source for the first kind of bacteria. We will increase the ammonia levels with this stuff to attract the bacteria. But this stuff is also great because uh, before I have any fish in the system, I've got no plant food. Uh, and this is a very good plant food that can help during the uh, cycling process. It's called Amino Alpha. Now I've also got <clears throat> this product from MaxiCrop, which is uh, basically they're both um, seaweed extracts. But this one contains urea, which should be helpful for my cycling process. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the plain water. I'm going to test temperature, nitrite, nitrate, pH, and ammonia. Okay, And I'm going to keep a little journal of this. 
and after a month or two I'll be able to make some graphs and show you guys. Um, so right now I'm going to test the water to find out what we're starting off with. So let's do that. <laughs> 